everyone welcome to i exam b please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon in this video we will talk about a very important concept which is the arithmetic mean as well as the harmonic mean so these two averages these are measures of central tendency which are used in statistics to represent a data set and at times in certain questions it is very confusing that you know which of these two averages will give you the right answers so this is a very very important concept Concept for your RBI Grade B T L examination as well as the SEBI research examination. We will be looking at these two means closely, and we will also be discussing a question wherein uh, we will compare these two means, and we will see that which of the two means is actually giving us the right answer. And also in the end, I will give you a shortcut trick. So watch till the end so that you know that in a moment that which of the two means that you need to use in any particular question that is given to you so let's start the video now here on your screen you can see there is a question which says that there is a person who travels 100 kilometers of distance by a car at an average speed of 30 kilometers per hour then he makes a return trip he is now coming back so let's say there are two points between a and b the distance is let's say 100 kilometers he is traveling by car he is using his car and he is going from point a to point b and the speed at which he is traveling is 30 kilometers per hour then he comes back so the return trip is carried out at an average speed of 20 kilometers per hour now you are asked to find out his average speed okay so let's formulate this question so clearly you are given here the speed which is 30 km per hour and the 20 km per hour return trip average speed the weights that are given to you is 100 and 100 which is the distance the kilometer is given to you okay so a good guess would be that you know use the weighted arithmetic mean okay the weighted arithmetic mean has the following formula you sum the product of the weights with the variable and then you divide it by the sum of the weights that is given to you so here since weights are 100 and x is the variable this is what you need to find out you need to find out the average speed and the weights given to you is the distance right so you do uh, w times x which is giving you 3000 here 2000 here the sum is 5000 and the sum of the total weights is 200 200 is the total distance so weighted arithmetic mean would be 5000 divided by 200 which is equal to 25 kilometer per hour that is what you can say that you know maybe the average uh, speed is 25 kilometers per hour but do you think that this is the correct way did we do any kind of mistake here yes there's a very major issue in this uh, question that we just committed let's proceed forward to find out what we exactly did so before proceeding forward let's look at and understand what exactly is an arithmetic mean and what is an harmonic mean so arithmetic mean is the sum of all observations divided by the total number of observations so if uh, you have uh, different xi values you sum it over the total summation values divided by the total number of observations that you have in a raw data series gives you the mean this is for an ungrouped data if you have to find out the weighted arithmetic mean just like we did in the previous question you sum it you over the product of the weights with the x variable and divided with the sum of the weights this gives you the weighted arithmetic mean so because here in the simple arithmetic mean what is done is that equal weights are given to each of the variables but at times you have to give different weights to different variables hence the weighted arithmetic mean is used and in the previous question we were given distance as the weights although the weights were equal but still we were given the distance as weights so we used this particular formula which is the weighted arithmetic mean although that is incorrect I will tell you why in a moment now let's look at what exactly is a harmonic mean so harmonic mean is the reciprocal of the arithmetic mean of the reciprocals of any given set of observations so what it means is that uh, her harmonic mean will be given by this particular formula here you are doing the reciprocal of arithmetic mean of the reciprocals right 
and this is for any ungrouped or raw data. This is the formula for harmonic mean. Now this uh, harmonic means these are very very useful in cases where you have to find out average rate or the average speed or the average price. So basically wherever there is a concept of rate or the rate at which something has increased or the average speed or the average price in such concepts the concept of harmonic mean is very useful and similarly the weighted harmonic mean if, if there are different weights that are given to the variables is given by this formula summation weights divided by the summation of w by x here w is referring to the different weights that are given to x variables let's come back to the question that we just solved here what we did was we found out the weighted arithmetic mean to find out the average speed right but see, if you look at here, the x variable that is given to you is speed, which is kilometers per hour. The units are kilometer per hour, right? And the weights that is given to you is distance, which is kilometers. Now, what you've done is you've taken the product of these weights and the x variables. So, what will be the units of Wx? So, clearly, the units of Wx would be the product of kilometer and kilometer per hour, which is kilometer square per hour so this is kilometer square per hour but this is the step which is incorrect okay this means we are multiplying speed with distance speed time distance what is it exactly giving you does this have any interpretation it is kilometer square per hour it is not meaningful so you are summing it over and then finding out the sum to be 5000 and you divide it by the total weight. So up till now what we did, we found this unit to be kilometer square per hour. Now you are dividing it with the units of uh, weights, which is kilometers. So this is kilometer square per hour now divided by kilometers. So ultimately the final units that you get here is kilometer per hour. Right, which is fine, which is the unit for speed. That is what we had to find out. We had to find out the average speed. So the units are fine. But this, the, this step here, this actually has no meaning. Right? So instead of doing this, let's say what we did was instead of using the weighted arithmetic mean, if we use the weighted harmonic mean. Okay? So if you use the harmonic mean here in the same question, all right so you were given the speed you were given the distance now harmonic mean means that you need to find out w by x and not w times x right if you are using the weighted harmonic mean so w by x now here w by x has a meaning okay this is distance divided by speed which is actually the time the total time taken and the units would be obviously kilometer divided by kilometer per hour which is hours so now the step is correct. It has some meaning. So now you know that W by X here would be 100 divided by 30, which is 3.33. And here it will be 100 divided by 20, which is 5. So the total is 8.33, right? Now, if you use the formula for weighted harmonic mean, this is summation W divided by summation W upon X. So the harmonic mean would come out to be 200 divided by 8.33, which is 24 kilometers per hour. Now you can check here the units for w by x is hours right so the denominator units is hour and the numerator units is kilometer so yes your answer is absolutely correct you have an answer in kilometers per hour which is the average speed that you have calculated in this question right so in this question using harmonic mean is better as compared to the arithmetic mean because what we get here that was not correct that didn't have any meaning now suppose this particular question is a little twisted okay and instead of the kilometers that has been traveled you are given the time that has been taken to travel a certain distance and you are given the speed at which uh, the person has traveled okay so what we are given here is the speed it, it is mentioned in the question that person travels at an average speed of 30 kilometers per hour for half of the time taken. So let's say the total time taken, say x hours. So he's traveling 
at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour for half of the time so x by 2 right and he's traveling at an average speed of 20 kilometers per hour for the other half of the times which is again x by 2 so the total time taken is x here right so this is the weights that is given to you here in this question now here again you have to find the same thing you have to find out the average speed only but the weights that are given to you is of time and not distance right so here the better way would be better method would be to, to use the arithmetic mean rather than the harmonic mean because using the arithmetic mean will give you a uh, speed into time which is actually the distance wx right and this will be the units would be kilometers so you have here 15x 10x so the total distance is 25x and the total time taken is x hours so the arithmetic mean would be 25x divided by x which is wx divided by w hence you get an answer which is 25 kilometers per hour so the catch is it depends upon what weights are actually given to you now time for the shortcut trick that how do you actually find out right that whether to use an arithmetic mean or a harmonic mean in order to derive averages of rates ratios you know these kinds of averages that involve speed time and distance or let's say price and the quantity or maybe the amount of money that is being spent etc then the choice between the arithmetic mean and the harmonic mean that is not easy because the choice between the harmonic mean and the arithmetic mean that depends upon the nature of data that is there the rule is that if the ratios that are given to you are in the form of x units per y right for instance we were given the speed which were in the units of kilometer per hour in the question so the trick is use the harmonic mean if the numerator units are given as weights so if in the question we were given distance which is the numerator unit in kilometers right then we used the harmonic mean if distance was given to you and if the denominator units are given to you that means hour that is the time okay so if in the question we saw that if the total time taken was given to us which was x by 2 half the time then we used arithmetic mean so if time was given which is the denominator units we use arithmetic mean but if distance was given which is the numerator units we use harmonic mean so this is the shortcut way to remember and you can quickly solve any question and get the right results you can also download the pdf of this video also we offer a free mock test for rbi grade b dpr examination as well as for the sab grade a research examination you can visit our website and attempt any of the mock tests to get an idea about these examinations here are some of the selections from i exam b in the previous year and you can also listen to the successful student strategy of last year by visiting this video for rbi dpr as well as this video for last last year I hope you like this video for more such shortcut tricks and clarity of concepts. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. You can also call on this number if you have any query related to any of the examinations. You can also drop us an email here. Thank you.